Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you the details of the 2023 Renault Clio E-Tech Engineered. So this is the full hybrid and it looks amazing, especially in this spec. Now Renault already introduced the facelifted version, I filmed that car as well. But today's focus is this one and then I will also do a visual comparison between this one and the facelifted version. So let's start here with the design. This model is finished in the beautiful iron blue color and then E-Tech Engineered gives you some special elements such as the gold accents on the lower section of the bumper. You also see the gloss black details here, gloss black badge and then here is where you can spot the front camera as well. The lights, full LED, they have the beautiful C shape and then if you, this is the key, you can press this to turn on the lights, C shape of daytime running LEDs, and then the main units are here, Renault uh, lettering here and LED pure vision lettering as well. And then some nice design elements uh, also on the upper section of the light. And then let me show you those gold accents here. Look at this, how gorgeous is that? I think really this suits the car, this iron blue color, gloss black and gold. Now moving on to the side of the vehicle, 4 meters and 5 centimeters is the length of the car. Of course some well-known features such as those hidden door handles on the Renault Clio, gloss black wing mirrors and you also see the special design element here on the side. Let me show you the wheels, 17 inch ones and they have this diamond cut finish but you see this is gray and black and then you also get this cool design element on the ETA engineered uh, wheels. Now 205, 45, R17, that's the dimension of the tires. Design element, which I told you about. And then here the gloss black wing mirrors. And uh, of course the door handles, which are here. So these are the door handles for the rear. From the rear, the car has the well-known LED tail lights with the C shape of the signature as well. So you see this is nicely illuminated and of course during the night there will be more details about the lights. Check out my night point of view drive as well. And one design element that I really love is this. Look how nice this looks and also of course makes it very aerodynamic and efficient and also pronounced uh, spoiler here you also spot the gloss black badge, which has the rear view camera, gloss black Clio lettering, E-Tech hybrid lettering, and then lower section, very clean design with the diffuser and once again, gold accents and gloss black. And the, the exhaust is here. So as you can see, it is hidden, but I really love this clean design, I think. It really suits the car. Now, if you want to open the trunk, you need to press this and now open it here. There we go. So this is a nice square shape. And here you spot also the spare tire, spare wheel actually, fire extinguisher and some tools as well. Now the hooks for your shopping bags are on both sides here. And if you want to close it, just grab this and you're good to go. So now it is time to show you the interior of the car. Now tell me in the comments, how do you like the exterior design? But now look at this. So when you enter this model, you're greeted with the E-Tech engineered uh, lettering here and this nice design element. And here on the side, some nice uh, details as well. Of course, the buttons for windows and mirrors. And the door pocket is actually pretty big for a car of this size. You also have this special section here. Not sure if camera is catching it now, but you can fit a bottle in this section and then maybe some smaller elements on the left as well. Let me show you the seats. So these are the special seats for this model. You see nice pronounced sidewall and uh, then this looks like it is integrated i mean it's not but very nice in terms of design as well now here in front of the driver three spoke steering wheel digital cockpit the 10 inch one and then the main touchscreen is here so let's see it from driver's perspective 
All right then, this is the interior from driver's perspective. Three spoke steering wheel in front of us, 10 inch digital cockpit, and then here that screen with the Easy Link infotainment system. You have the beautiful design of the air vents uh, that have this connection to emphasize the width of the interior and the cockpit itself. And then here are some buttons. Let me change the view and show you more details. All right, so the infotainment system, I will go through the details in a moment. Let's just check the rest of the interior here. So some buttons here, EV, then driving modes, hazard lights. When you press this, you can change between uh, My Sense, Sport and Eco. And in My Sense, you can regulate and, uh, you know, change various things such as the steering, powertrain, cluster and lighting and uh, yeah well you have the sport mode that changes the view on this 10 inch digital cockpit and eco mode also has different view and for example the green ambient lights so you can configure those out and um, yeah well once again i will go through the details in a moment but let's just check this out button here for the camera view you have a lot of cameras on this one and the 360 surround so there we go look at this and uh, yeah well the AC is on switches that is a big thumb up from me you can configure the temperature here and then the air blower on this section here this is to adjust the mode then circulation of air 12 volt power supply wireless charging pad for your phone USB ports aux then the gear selector for the multi-mode automatic transmission you also get the b mode for recuperation and driving on downhill sections for example then this is the key and you can have this you have this slot here which you can put it in so that it stays in one place auto hold electronic parking brake and roller with the adjustable cup holders hidden here so it's nice to have this roller to give you more clean design when you're not using the cup holders and here's some additional room storage area and the armrest with the same stitching as on the seats now here clock box i can show you these specs as well so let's check this out renault clio ite engineered 145 hybrid so the price without options is here but as you can see we do have some extra equipment on this one active safety then uh, lighting package so uh, automatic high beam and led fog lights ct camera 360 which i just showed you and you also have the easy park assist uh, which is actually here so so I think now the car would look for a parking space and then when it finds one you can use this easy park assist function spare wheel for uh, shorter usage and the blue iron metallic color that gives you a total price of 29,190 euros for this model and now we are ready to explore the infotainment system so this is the home screen and then if you press this you go into the other main uh, screen main section where you have a bunch of things available such as the navigation radio music so for example here you have the list of stations and i really love this section of renault with the uh, list that go like this when you change them as it's very responsive and easy to use you have the presets as well list and then frequency is here so those were the radio stations navigation it has the beautiful 3d shape of the buildings look at this how cool is that really gorgeous and uh, you see the center of the city cathedral the attention to details is amazing i can't wait to drive it during the night during our night point if you drive uh, you will see the navigation as well in the dark mode and uh, yeah well it's gonna be a real pleasure to drive in this 
with the big screen and the ambient lights here and the big digital cockpit. Now this is flickering just on camera so that you know. And uh, yeah, well, let's um, go into the menu for the navigation. So you can then uh, set the destination, route, traffic map, and uh, you can have the live traffic as well some construction work and stuff like that so let's go back settings for the navigation are here you can select the theme here then time display whether you want arrival time or time to destination traffic display out of zoom you can even configure my car on like the route and the map actually so you can have a bunch of things, some concept models and Clio or the Aero. Let's put Clio actually. And uh, yeah, well, that's pretty much it when we talk about the map settings. Let's go back and uh, back again. Here is the map. Now, if we press this again, phone connection, you can add a new device and uh, apps for photo and video car information you can have some eco tips tire pressure energy info and then system settings for the software update or map update and the settings here for the driver assist system this car has up to 15 driver assist systems as you can see packed with technology you can then turn on or off a bunch of those here traffic sign recognition you have some other options here when you enter this as well and following distance active braking so these can be configured here parking assistance there we go you can also adjust the image here as you can see and the sound so which one would you put i think i will leave the type one and um, you have a multi-sense so that is the configuration of your driving mode you can then adjust the steering to sport one for example on the multi-sense and then you can also adjust the ambient light color this is illuminated and then you have a bunch of colors available as you can see tell me in the comments which one is your favorite so of course during the night you will be able to see that better stay tuned for that video as well and here you see that the digital cockpit also changes the color here in the middle when you change the ambient light color and let me insert this so now you can see it in the dark so let's edit the current mode and change the lighting look at this so you have the green one red one purple one and you see also here it is changing the color as well tell me in the comments which one is your favorite i really love the blue one of course and also the purple one as cool as well all right and now i've turned on the car to have some ac it's really hot here i will just press the sport mode on so that you can see the cluster as well there we go it changes and then eco mode gives you this in green and then this cluster here so fasten seat belt or switch off we're gonna switch off the engine now so yeah let's go back to the review so this is the my sense mode and then if you go to sport then you can also see that in this one you have sport steering sport powertrain and sport cluster but you can change the ambient lights and eco would have of course uh, eco powertrain and cluster and comfort steering you can also change the ambient lights but i will keep those presets which are the red for the sport and green for eco now i think that is pretty much it when we talk about this infotainment system i can also show you this so you can have the minimal display 
which could be useful during the night, for example. You can also have the standby, which is sort of like the screensaver, which gives you the date, the temperature, 35 degrees today in Zagreb, and your time. So yeah, in order to change the volume, you can do it here, but there are also, um, there's a button here. So you see, here's where you can adjust that and also change the track with this. So I think you will use this more often and then maybe if the passenger wants to change the volume, uh, it would be good to do it here. There's also the option to have the map view here in front of you. There we go. And uh, yeah, well, the energy flow, bunch of things that are available here. So that looks very nice. Now, of course, this is the top trim, which means we do have this 10 inch digital cockpit, but the main one would be like the base one would be four inch one, and then you would upgrade to a seven inch one. And then this is the 10 inch top of the line digital cockpit. Now here, the sun visor, there we go. Hello, there's also a light here. Speaking about lights, have them here and uh, for the passenger as well. Now let's check out the rear bench. 2 meters 58.3 centimeters is the wheelbase length and uh, let's explore the rear bench now. So let me show you this door handle, very cool detail, a well-known detail on Clio models. And here is the similar pattern to the front. The door pocket of course is smaller here and then if I take a seat here, there we go and actually rather clever design here for your knees this is the view on the front now in front of us we have some storage areas and uh, yeah well now let me show you how it looks for my head okay and this is the situation so I'm 1 meter 87 and this is how it looks time to open the bonnet pull this and you can also spot some specifications here. E-Tech engineered hybrid technology, 1.2 kilowatt hour electric capacity of the battery. So let's open this and let's mention uh, the specifications and details about this powertrain. So you need to do this and we do not have hydraulic struts. So I'll be back with you in a moment. So in front of us, we have the E-Tech engineered full hybrid powertrain and this is the combination of 1.6 liter four cylinder petrol unit and two electric motors and then they are paired with the multi-mode automatic transmission and that gives you a very smooth drive very efficient drive there are other options as well Renault gives you a lot of choice when it comes to powertrains of the Clio so you can go for the petrol diesel LPG or the hybrid Tell me in the comments what would be your choice. And then the facelifted version will also be available with various powertrain options. All right, guys, that was it. A first look at the 2023 Renault Clio E-Tech Engineered. Tell me in the comments how do you like it and do subscribe because we are now going on a point of view test drive. There will also be a drive during the night. Stay tuned for that. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye bye.